guys, Toss20 here and welcome back to Springwood. Today is the last episode we're going to be working on the airport, which is a massive bummer, but I am kind of keen to move on to bigger, better things and even start fleshing out the areas around the airport to make for some seriously sweet cinematics. But before we do move out to the airport, we do have one last episode here, so let's jump straight into it. Today I'm going to be working on a couple of uh, servicing areas for the airport, uh, some maintenance areas, a fueling station, but to kick things off I'm going to start with one of two fire stations that's going to be serving the um, airport. This one in particular is going to be for most of the runways I imagine. And looking off uh, Sydney Terminal, Sydney Airport, there are two fire stations. One is placed, well, they're both pretty much placed exactly where I'm placing them in Springwood. Um, yeah, I've pretty much said that. <laughs> um, I've given this one direct access to the runways and um, in terms of how close it is to the airport, it's pretty far away. I mean, like, if you're going to access this fire station, you have to take... Um, a completely different road uh, or you'd have to follow uh, some of these taxiways uh, for the um, servicing trucks as well so like it, it would not serve the terminal at all well I guess it would if there was a major fire I don't know I, I like as a like I say in all these episodes I don't really know how these things work I'm just kind of using my imagination I'm also plopping down um, a space for random industrial uh, bits and pieces I would imagine that this area is designed for building materials that are going to be um, used to service different areas around the terminals and um, I've noticed lots of these areas around uh, airports and particularly around the runways. I mean they're very much hidden from passengers like I mentioned in the last episode. They're trying to keep places pretty nice and neat around the terminals but then behind the scenes airports are just like giant industrial places where there are um, lots of areas for cargo coming in and maintenance. I wanted to keep it like that too by having a lot of different industrial areas um, as well as keeping it pretty pretty nice and clean for the passengers. So this is very much just around the runway and um, I tried to cover it up, well at least shield it from the public by using fences. Although, like, I also try to use a lot of fences around the runways because, like, you don't want random people jumping the fence and coming in, so most of these areas are really well protected by, well, I use prison fences to, um, to really border this place up because you really don't want people jumping over. Um, again, another little random area. I don't really know what this little spot is but I wanted to follow it exactly off one that I can see um, around Sydney Terminal. I have no idea what this is for but I, I know it is definitely used by the airport because you can see it connected to the runways and um, that's something I really wanted to kind of incorporate. I mean because because I don't work in an airport or I don't really know how they work the best way to follow, best way to increase the realism is by just following exactly what you see on a Google Maps and then you can just like you can be assured that it's for real because I mean if it's on Google Maps then it exists. I might not know what it's used for but at least I know that they do have places like this um, within airports. Um, if you do know what you think little places like this would be for an airport um, definitely hit me up. I'd be so keen to um, know what the hell I'm sticking down and um, what they're used for. You'll also see me um, using the pedestrian paths to connect the runways to this area and because I really wanted uh, the areas around this airport to be completely connected to the runways or the airport. I do want them to be to look like they're totally separate and um, the way I sort of achieve that is by just connecting it in um, other little ways. And you'll also see other bits and pieces that I plopped down to kind of, um, you know, increase that. You just see me using a lot of fences, like I said before, trying to really shield public from the airport and um, trying to keep security at, um, at like high, high levels. And even for like maintenance and like workers around here, you don't really want people just wandering around on, um, you know, around where planes are taken off and stuff. I'm sure it's super dangerous. 
Um, other little bits and pieces you'll see me do in this episode. I am... Um, like, I've, somebody mentioned a couple of episodes ago that I should create a space for people to um, play and watch. And um, that kind of sparked this entire episode. I didn't really think about it until that comment, so thank you so much. I, I can't remember who made that comment, but... Um, like, it's, it was a really kind of, um, I don't know, it kind of just really sparked a bit of inspiration for me and I was pretty keen to plop down an area where people could um, watch planes from because I know that is a really common thing and even when I look on Google Maps around Sydney Terminal, like, there's actually areas marked for plane spotting. Um, there's two in particular and I'm going to follow them exactly, so, um, yeah, they'll be, like, completely at the end of the episode. <laughs> That's, like, the last thing I stick down. Um, what I'm doing on screen is I'm using a lot of shrubs and a lot of trees. I wanted this area to be pretty um, bushy and a lot different from the rest of the city. Um, I really wanted to highlight that we're not in the city anymore. I wanted it to, um, you know, I wanted there to be a lot more foliage because you just can't put as much foliage around um, the cities, around the downtowns and um, so I was pretty keen to make it look like we had totally entering a different area of the city. Although, like, I, I changed my mind a lot, and um, this is another time where I changed my mind. Um, Prez actually made a comment the other day on a video saying that something that I really need to incorporate if I'm going to be following an airport similar to LAX um, is that the terminal, the runways are super deserty, really dry, and really... Um, really desolate, like it's not green, it's not lush. I didn't really think about it because I've been following off Sydney Terminal a lot. However, when I started floating over LAX, I really noticed it. It was like a punch in the face. It was the first thing I noticed is how deserty this area is. And um, I just, I hadn't been incorporating any of that, even though Springwood is like loosely based off, loosely, it's mostly based off LA. So <laughs> I kind of needed to incorporate it. So, at the end of the episode, you'll notice that I do go back and make things look a little bit more deserty. Um, less foliage, less trees, more more around the desert side of things. However, I mean, Springwood is totally not LA, and I did want it to be its own place. Um, I didn't want it to be like Sydney Terminal or LAX, completely its own entity. So I, um, you know, do keep a couple of areas. Um, with a bit more trees than LAX, but a whole lot less trees than um, Sydney Terminal. You, you'll you'll see that at the end. But for what I'm doing right now, at least, uh, man, you you know you know me. I hate doing intersections. However, I had to do this one here because it's a somewhat an important one, and it was very tricky to figure out how I was going to lay it out. Essentially, this intersection was important because it was the combination of uh, three different areas. One road that's going from left to right is going is pretty much a highway that's now um, slowing down traffic as it creeps into more of an avenue state and I needed it to kind of slow down as it creeped off this bridge and then hit this intersection and um, you know, made its transition from highway to avenue. Uh, that was kind of tricky. And then this other little area is this, um, this road that you see on the bottom um, part has eight lanes on it. So it's a big road. Um, and then we also have the beginning of a highway that's um, up in the top part. So, you know, there's a lot going on and um, there needed to be direct access for both those highways to access each other without interrupting traffic flow too much. We're not getting huge amounts of traffic flow at this area just yet, but down the track I imagine there'd be a lot of traffic. And in real life there's going to be a lot of traffic around here. I mean, that one road is leading, um, the one that goes underneath the high, underneath the runway, that one leads out of the city and to a smaller town. So that is quite a big busy road and it needed to support a lot of traffic. So I, you, you see where I'm getting at. It, they kind of needed to be really um, important. Hence the reason why I had to detail this intersection, which as much as I hated it, I 
it looks good. <laughs> like I'm happy with how it turned out. Um, I'm trying to use a lot of trees because I wanted this area to be quite um, bushy, quite tree-like. Um, around this area will end up being industrial, so this will be a bit of a transition from industrial spring woods to more outskirts, less industrial side of things. So I wanted it to act as if an introduction to the outskirts of um, Springwood. Hence the reason why I'm going for lots of trees rather than um, sticking with more of a concrete, uh, you know, urban sprawl sort of a look. Next step, we're going to detail this whole area with industrial side of things. I'm not really sure what sort of industry yet. I'm thinking uh, more like Springwood port side of things. Um, even like Los Angeles port side of things. So um, yeah, hit me up if you think of something cool to do down there. If you ever want to hit me up with comments or suggestions, the best place to do that, there's a couple of them. First up, you can do it in the comments below or you can hit me up on the 2Ls20 Discord server. Um, I'm not the one who made that by the way, it's it's a fan group. I, um, <laughs> I didn't make a fan group for myself. But it's a really good place to uh, chat to me. I mean, I'm not super, super active on there, but I'm generally um, around at the release of each video uh, to talk about it or to answer any questions because I'm, uh, I do enjoy doing that when I have the time. Also, I am very active on Twitter and on Instagram. If you want to follow me on there, definitely hit me up on that too. Uh, in between episodes is probably a good idea. But back to what I'm doing on screen, and I am building one of many different maintenance areas for planes. This one in particular is kind of just a bit of a holding area, and next to it I'm going to be plopping down a maintenance shed with lots of uh, industrial bits and pieces for this, um, for the construction of planes and things like that. I guess not really the construction of planes, but you know, just to fix bits and pieces. Though most of that's going to be happening in the hangars. I just wanted this area to be an area that they can, um, you know, park up and, uh, you know, repair little bits and pieces. I don't know. It, it, that doesn't, now that I say it, it doesn't seem right. <laughs> but I have seen areas like this within uh, Sydney Terminal. So again, if you just follow things that you see on Google Earth, you can generally count that it's going to be correct in some form, one way or another. Perhaps this is just an area where they hold planes with an industrial section next to it. Ah, jeez, I don't really know. But it looks cool, so I followed it. Um, something you probably noticed as well is that I just copied and pasted those um, lines that I placed down in a couple of episodes beforehand. I am, um, at this stage, I'm not placing down new lines because they already exist and if I can just copy them then I'm definitely just gonna copy them saves so much time like huge amounts of time and um, I'm all about time saving in this series because um, there is so much to build and so much I want to build and if I was to focus on every little bit and detailed everything by hand every time there's no way this area is gonna ever be finished um, just a little tip and trick from your boy $2.20. Right now I am now placing down a, um, uh, would you believe it? This is the first pond that I've ever built in this game and I had to scroll back to a very early episode from Skibbeth where he demonstrates how you actually place down a pond. I couldn't figure it out. It, every time I filled it up with water it just would overflow and I'd have to restart the game again. It's, it was so annoying, and then I followed his instructions, and I was like, ah, of course. Um, thanks, Kim. <laughs> that was very helpful. I, um, I laughed when I went back to a super old episode from him. I think he was a bit embarrassed, but it was um, helpful nonetheless. Within this little maintenance area that I'm building, I wanted it to still have uh, remnants of what, in, uh, what an airport would need. So I tried to place down bits and pieces that you can find within the airport. Um, for example, I put down some blast shields. We got some containers that would hold um, other bits and pieces. Um, we have lots of uh, trolleys and fueling trucks and um, boxes full of other um, essential things for the terminal. You know, I tried to keep everything reasonably within the same style. And um, 
and if I couldn't find something that I thought would act as something for the airports, I would um, place down a box and just say, well, there's something airport related in that box. <laughs> um, I'm now building, shaping the side of, um, the other side of the terminal, something that I haven't really done yet. Um, I keep saying terminal where I should be saying airport because we are pretty much finished with the airport. We're not working on terminals anymore. Um, this side of things, ah, this is a very exciting side of the airport. Um, first up is exciting because we are now completely new territory. I mean, this is the furthest away from Springwood that I've actually built. Um, we are also now creeping onto areas that are going to be outer skirts of Springwood. Like these are now towns rather than being part of the city, which is super cool. Um, I don't actually build the town yet. I think that's probably about three episodes away. If you're keen to see it, hit me up because um, I'll move on to other things if no one um, mentions that they want to see it. But on the left hand side, bottom left corner, there will be a town eventually. I'm thinking kind of like a town that you'd um, imagine around the coastline of uh, LA. However, being so close to the airport, I don't think we're going to be going for houses that are going to be super nice. Um, however, there will be elements of places um, that will be, you know, along the bit more open stretch of things because we are out of the city. Places aren't quite as tight. But, you know, like, let's just deal with that later because we're not actually at that side of the place yet. Um, for now, what I'm building is something totally based off um, somewhere um, in Sydney. Man, we are jotting all over the bloody place at the moment around the world. Um, this little section is something that's um, in Sydney and I'm trying to follow it pretty closely because it is a really interesting stretch of um, the highway around here and a little nook in terms of the airport. This little area that I'm building is actually going to be attached to the airport. However, it's um, very far away from the actual terminals. It's a, um, a bit of like a warehouse holding facility. I haven't built that just yet, but um, you'll see me build it quite shortly. But this road that I am constructing right now is going to be um, a road that kind of snakes around this highway and then will connect back up to um, another uh, maintenance facility where the uh, fuel station is going to be. And then it'll also snake its way back to the international terminal. It's kind of like a round path, you know, if you were to follow the airports um, like a road from the domestic side of things all around the runways and then through this section here you could make your way completely back to the um, international side of the airport so um also thought this part was kind of interesting because it's an area that um the airport roads will kind of like snake its way out of the actual airport into this facility here which is I guess public area, public space and then underneath the highway and then back into the airport. Yeah, it's That's kind of confusing but it makes more sense when you see the cinematics um, and even as I build this it'll make a bit more sense. But it's an area that I thought was really really cool because it's um, you know quite different and you don't really have crossovers where the public can kind of access and the servicing side of the airport can access. I thought that was kind of cool and that's why I really wanted to build it because it is practically exactly what's happening with um, City Terminal. This little beach is going to be um, an area where people can uh, plane watch from. I would not call this a particularly nice beach. Being so close to the airport would be very noisy and um, it's, I don't think it'd get many waves and I think it'd be pretty dirty though I wanted it to be um, quite overgrown with trees and um, especially this little section down here and a little bit of a cliff face too that I'm using Ivanya's um, cliffs that are really nice first time I'm using them they fit in really nicely when you cover some bits up with um, trees just to add a bit of variety um, I had a little car park up there it crosses over that maintenance road um, with this dirt road um, that little beach is where you'd actually be able to see planes from but I do at the very end of the episode place down um, a space where people do kind of I guess it would not be in an official area where you'd watch planes from but I think that if you were into that you'd know about that spot because it'd be a um, you know a little 
little secret little nook that people would go to. Um, like I said, this beach is not particularly nice, so I wanted it to be a bit dirty. I placed down a couple little areas that um, kind of turn it into a bit more of an industrial, industrious little um, area. This is the warehouse that I was talking about. And in my mind, it would hold a lot of materials that would be used by the airport. Um, maybe even things that are way more outdated and probably less used because it is quite far away from the actual airport. Um, however, I'd imagine trucks kind of coming to this uh, this warehouse and then transporting it to the terminals. Um, it's probably more of like a holding facility. I place some walls around it because it's definitely um, still an area that public can be uh, can access so um, you do need a bit of a level of security um, however I did want this area to be somewhat nice so I am placing down a lot of trees and um, you know areas for people to kind of hang out in <laughs> do you ever just get like out-of-body experiences where you realized how nerdy you are <laughs> I just have one of those experiences whereas I um realize that I'm just talking about fictional places um, where fictional people would um, spend their time <laughs> but to be honest that's the cool stuff I mean that's the that's the stuff I really like about this game and what I like building in this um, you know why I like making this channel is these little cool little secret areas that's you know in real life if they existed they'd um, only really be known about by certain people people who work at the airport and then people who enjoy plane watching or people who just uh, enjoy strange areas like I do in real life uh, those areas that you know aren't classically visited by lots of people uh, areas that exist where people are always at for instance this highway would be traveled on by so many people um, by people who live at that small town who travel into downtown where they work and they probably pass this this um this beach every day but they probably don't know anything about it um, and they probably see it and then one day they decide just to um, drive down and see what's what it's all about and it's those areas that I really love in real life and um, they're not classically beautiful but they are still super intriguing because they are um, you know very unusual areas this area is super unusual because it's um you know an area that's industrial but it's also a bit bushy and you know has some trees and it's unusual because there's planes flying overhead and there's a crossover between uh, people who work at the airport and then people who are just enjoy visiting and looking at it so uh, yeah it's um it's an area that I really enjoyed building because I think it is actually super interesting and in real life I'd probably really like to go and check this place out and um, you know whether I'm watching a plane fly in or just exploring the beach sides I think it'd be pretty cool and I actually kind of want to go to this area in Sydney now and check it out and see um, if it's anything like that I built it like or anything like I'd imagine um, but yeah anyway that's a bit of nerdiness right there let's stick with some other nerdiness which is what I am just building what I am building is um, the fueling side of the airport uh, a couple of people mentioned this in a couple of episodes ago and I figured that would be something that I do really need to add in again don't know how they work so I um, pretty much essentially just placed down uh, just a fueling uh, tank <laughs> just and I just assume that they they connect somehow I've also just placed down uh, the second fire station I think figured this would be a really good spot for a fire station seeing as there's planes are actually fueling up here there'd be high flammables around this area plus they've got access to the runways um, and also the terminals I'd imagine there'd also be one within the terminal side of things although there wasn't one in Sydney to uh, Sydney Airport so I just kind of followed that exactly and placed ones where there were ones um, in uh, Sydney which makes sense but this one here is, I think, a really good fit for where a fire service would actually be needed around an airport. This one's like pretty much dead center in, um, in terms of runways and taxiways and the actual terminals. Putting in some oil spills because I think that adds just to the realism of uh, this area, trying to create that sort of um, look of oil being used around this area. and. Um, 
Now this is kind of like my, this is my go of um, desertifying this terminal, this airport. I wanted it to um, have a bit more of a feel of um, LAX, more so than um, Sydney airport. Uh, like again, it is it's totally its own thing, so it's definitely not going to be as um, deserty as LAX. However, I did want it to be a bit of a, a the, there to be a bit of a crossover, a bit of a mix between the two styles there. Um, um, what I'm doing here is I'm just like putting my oil resource on like I think it's on 0 0.01 which just gives me really good control over how much of that sandy texture comes through like I said I do want it to be a bit more greener than LAX um, but then also um, have a bit of a deserty look to it too um, there are definitely areas of like greenery and foliage and park and stuff like that however there's going to be a real mix um, but I, I'm looking at the time and that's pretty much it for this episode guys um, thanks heaps for tuning in. it's um, always very very much appreciated oh by the way now I'm actually placing down those uh, those observers the plane spotters how good does this little effect look I mean these guys are uh, I think they're protesters. I mean, actually, this this guy's giving a thumbs up, but it kind of looks like he's holding the railing or taking a picture. Uh, so I think that works really nicely. I just placed those guys down. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think it looks sick. Um, but yeah, anyway, have a great week, and I catch you guys in the next episode. See ya.